Hello, hello. I am so ready for you to grow a profitable service-based business to consistent 3K months. But before we dive in, I want you to grab a pen and paper so you can take some notes because I'm going to be sharing a lot of actionable content throughout this training with you. And I also want you to grab a post-it pad because we're going to do a fun activity with it. You're also going to see a chat box on the bottom right side of the screen. I want you to put all of your questions and your comments in there. And my team or I will be in touch with you ASAP to make sure we get all of them answered. Now, I love free trainings like this where we can come together and I can deliver a ton of value with you. But my favorite place to hang out online is Instagram. So since you're watching this training, go ahead and send me a DM right now with scalable service and let me know what strategies you're going to put in place to grow your business after this training ends. My handle is right there. It is the Blake Collective. So this training is for you today. If you are constantly downloading freebies and hoping that the next one is going to give you all the secrets to growing a profitable business. This training is also for you if you are sick of inconsistent income and not knowing if you're going to be able to pay the bills next month. And finally, this training is for you if you are sick of working all the freaking time in your service-based business with little to nothing to show for it. So if all of these sound like you, you are in the right place today. So if you're anything like me, you probably want to know what's coming up in this training. So let's break it down for you. So First, we are going to start with understanding how to ditch the distractions and stay really focused on your business because we all know how easy it is to become really overwhelmed and overcomplicate things in the online space, right? And then we are going to diving into making sure that the services that you're offering, they feel really aligned with you and you actually enjoy what you're doing because you didn't, in, you didn't start a business to do things that you don't love, right? So after that, we are going to talk about how selling doesn't have to be scary. It can actually be really fun. And you may not believe me right now, but stick with me because we're going to talk through this. And then we are going to focus on simplifying your business by ensuring that you're working on income producing activities or IPAs every single day so that you can be as productive and profitable in the little time that you have. Next, I'm going to walk you through my four part system for attracting and signing clients with ease using attraction marketing principles. Now, I told you there's a lot of valuable content in here, so stick with me. And then I'm going to show you how you can work with me. So if you love what you've learned here and you're thinking, holy crap, Steph, this is amazing. Show me more. Don't worry. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that as well. So do you like friends? I would love to know. You can pop that in the chat. You could say yes or no. Now, I personally love this show. My favorite character is Joey. And I would be lying if I said I didn't have a crush on him throughout a good portion of the 90s and early 2000s. Now, let's say that Joey suddenly no longer owes anybody money and he was rich. Now, that may be a little bit of a stretch, but go with me on this. So out of the goodness of his heart, he decides that he wants to put 50,000 bucks into the PayPal account of the service provider that attracted and signed 10 clients. So does that sound like a competition that you would want to win? Tell me yes or no in the chat right now. Also, side note, who remembers this episode where he put on all of Chandler's clothes? This episode still makes me laugh today. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Ah, I just love it. I love that episode. I love the show so much. Now, in the past, you may have approached a contest like this, like Fran. Fran gets straight to work because she feels like if she's not working, she's wasting her time. She's hanging out in multiple Facebook groups and is commenting on a bunch of different posts, hoping that somebody is going to click on the discovery call link that she shared. She's signed a couple of clients here and there, but she's still not at her goal. She's really burnt out because she's trying to find more clients, but she doesn't know how to find them instead of in overloaded Facebook groups. And she started this business to live a life of true freedom, but she always, that she always wanted, but instead of feeling really free, she's actually overwhelmed and she's anxious and she's on the verge of giving up. Now let's look at Sarah. 
Sarah does not jump on her laptop first thing in the morning. Instead, she has a step-by-step -step plan to attract and sign those 10 clients. She knows and attracts exactly who she wants to work with, and she has the back-end system set up so she always knows what she's doing in her business and in her clients' businesses. And she's reaching consistent three to 5K months and she has a wait list of clients that are dying to work with her. So I know that we don't have guys like Joey running around and wanting to give us money, but every day as a service-based business owner, our goal is to work with clients that we love, right? We don't wanna worry about how we're gonna pay our bills and we really wanna enjoy spending time with our families, not sitting on our laptops on the couch every evening. So how are you spending your days right now? Are you a Fran or are you a Sarah? I want you to put that name in the chat right now. And when you heard Fran, if you were laughing and thinking, oh my gosh, that's me, I'm Fran, don't worry. And before we dive into the actual training, I should probably introduce myself. So hi, my name is Steph and I help the friends of the world become Sarah's. And I created the scalable service system so service-based business owners can create those consistent three to 5K months without working a million hours a week. But when I first started my own VA business many, many years ago, I had a few different things that I wanted to accomplish. So. I really wanted to have consistent income. I didn't want to guess anymore about what was coming in each month. And I really wanted to leave my nine to five job and work in my business full time. And I wanted to work with clients that I loved instead of just feeling like I had to take on any client because I had to pay my bills. And I also wanted to know how to easily attract and sign clients instead of just feeling really desperate all the time. But in reality, this is what my life was really like. I was working nonstop. I created nine different businesses in two years. That's a story for another day. But more than anything, I had no clear path to follow. And I was spending money left and right on courses, trying to figure, trying to find a quick fix. And I was a hot freaking mess, as you can tell right here. And I was making very little money. I was Fran. I would spend my days dreaming of creating this really profitable business that I loved instead of working for somebody else where frankly, I wasn't getting paid enough. I really wanted to work with clients that I enjoyed helping instead of any and everybody that I connected with in those overcrowded Facebook groups. And not only was I failing in my mind at being an entrepreneur and hustling nonstop, I found out that I was pregnant the day before my husband and I left for a conference in Las Vegas. Talk about terrible timing. All I wanted to do was drink margaritas by the side of a pool, but that was no longer possible. But I can tell you after seeing those words pregnant pop up on not one, but four different tests, Yes, I took a bunch because I didn't trust them. I knew that I had to get really serious about my business. And up until that point, things were okay, but, and I was making enough to pay the bills, but I knew that it could be better. It had to be better because I was seeing all of these people post things on social media about these really high revenue months and how they were going on vacation and all of the things. So I knew that it could get better than where it was at right now. But I also only had a few hours in the day to figure this out because I was still working at my nine to five. Now, I thought this was impossible because I was already working nonstop. At this point, I was running a VA agency on the side of my nine to five, but my revenue goals weren't near where I wanted them to be. And I had even less time and I was exhausted because I was pregnant. If you have been pregnant before, the first trimester is no joke. But I am way too stubborn to give up on anything, especially creating this dream life for myself. So I knew that I had about nine months to create a business that could not only sustain me, but my growing family as well. So that is when the scalable service system was born and what I teach now. And this system not only worked for me, but it's what I teach tons of other women who want to escape that feeling of being like Fran and turn into those Sarahs of the world. And I designed my ideal life and it didn't include burning out either. I was able to leave my nine to five job and stay home with my son when he was born and travel with my family on a weekday. These traveling on a weekday was not possible for me. I did not have vacation time at my nine to five job. It's ridiculous. 
Again, another story for another day. But more than anything, I finally felt like my life wasn't revolving around my business. Now, I know you probably don't have a lot of time. You may have a nine to five job and coworkers and a boss to deal with like I did. There's a quick little snapshot from back in my nine to five days. And you may have kids running around. I have one of those too, I get it. Or maybe you have a really packed schedule who doesn't have a packed schedule, right? But the good news is that this system that I'm teaching you, it does not require a lot of time from you. I did this on less than three hours a week and you can too. But before we dive into the system, I want to talk you through three big mistakes that kept me stuck in this spiral of earning very little cash in my business for so many years, because I do not want you to make these same mistakes too. So the first is that downloading all of the freebies and searching for answers on Google and Pinterest because you're afraid of investing is the way to go. So this is a really big mistake that I made. I was afraid of investing, so I would just download all the freebies buy all the low ticket courses for like $37 instead of like making big investments that would actually get me the results that I wanted. So I want to know, do you have a freebie cemetery? So this is a folder on your computer that's filled with freebies that you downloaded but never looked at. So if you do, I want you to type yes in the chat right now. I know that I did. I actually still have them. They're sitting in Google Drive and they're sitting in my inbox right now. I, I don't even know how many are in there. There's probably hundreds at this point in there. I have no idea. Maybe thousands. Who knows? But we believe that if we download and consume all of the free content online, that we can piece it together to make it work for us because we don't have any extra money to spend on our business. But if you're already maxed out on time, which you likely are, how can your business grow if you're spending more time attempting to piece all of these different freebies or low cost things together, right? So every time you download a new freebie, it's like you're trying to write a new book. So on the left is where you're at right now, and the right is where you want to be. And each time you download a new freebie, it's like you're writing multiple books on different topics. So for example, if you find a freebie on Pinterest marketing, and that tells you that it's the solution that will bring you success in your business, you're gonna download it, right? And then the next day you think that curating the perfect Instagram feed is going to get you there. So then you download a freebie for that. And then maybe the following week you are downloading freebies about your website design and branding or SEO, like whatever it is. Come up with any freebie topic on the planet. There's more than enough to choose from. But what's happening is you're putting your time and energy into writing all of these books at one time and all you're left with are these random pieces of paper from different books and they're not getting you to where you want to go. It's all of these half written books all over the place, right? So let's break this down even further and look at how much time you're losing when you're writing these different books. And now this lost time is due to context switching. So in our analogy right now, for every book that you write, you're using 100% of your time with none of your business lost to context switching. Now, this is where we want to be. But as you start to write additional books or in our world, do projects that um, like website design or your updating your logo or setting up your Pinterest account or curating the perfect Instagram feed, all of these are different projects that we're working on, you're only getting more distracted and you're losing more time. So by the time you reach that fifth book or that fifth project that you're working on right now, you only have about 5% of your available time in the day to work on each task. So out of an eight hour workday, if you're even working that much, only two of those hours are actually productive. And if you're working less than eight hours, then even less of those hours are productive. So what I want you to do instead is focus on writing one book at a time. So this brings us to the first part of the scalable service system, which we're going to walk through in a couple of minutes. But remember, if we keep writing books or in our world, downloading freebies and starting new projects all the time, what is going to happen? The more freebies that you try to piece together, it does not mean that you're going to uncover the strategy. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Now, I love to give my clients action items to complete. So this training is no different. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to think about your 90 day goal for your business. What is one really big but realistic goal that you can achieve in the next 90 days? Second thing I want you to think about, oh, actually, 
let me give you an example. So do you want to sign two more clients? Maybe you want to generate an extra $3,000 a month. What does this goal look like for you? Now, I don't want you to overthink this too much. What's the first thing that comes to mind for you? And I would love if you could pop that in the chat too. I would love to hear that from you. So you can pop that down below. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is when you go to download a freebie, I want you to ask yourself, will this help me achieve my 90 day goal? If it will download it, that's great. You can get something for free. That's going to show you how to get there. If not, pass it up because we really want to make sure that you're focused on actually achieving the goals that you set for yourself and not get distracted with the latest quote unquote strategy that pops into your Facebook feed, right?